Hey guys, so I've seen Deadpool many times. It is one of my dad's favorite movies. And when I've watched it, for the longest time, I thought that his roommate, Owl, was played by Ohura, aka Nichelle Nichols from Star Trek. And I thought this because she like the actress Nichelle Nichols, has this kind of like poofy gray afro. She um, she just looked like Nichelle Nichols. And I didn't have any reason not to believe that. And I just thought that was really cool that he had a roommate that was old and blind and really like cool and shit. <laughs> so I was into it. And then, Fast forward to, and I just thought that she added like a really cool, like softer kind of touch to the movie and to Deadpool's character. And um, if you guys want me to do a review of Deadpool, I don't think I've done a review of Deadpool. I'm not, I'm pretty sure I haven't. I don't think I have. But if you guys would like to see me review Deadpool, let me know below. And also let me know below or on my social medias, which are always down in the description box below. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, I believe. And they're all different. Like my Twitter is um, Estel Savio. My Instagram is Sarah Del Savio, like Sarah and then like the under dash, the underscore Del Savio. And then my Facebook is Sarah Del Savio. So yeah. So um, yeah, if you guys want me to do that, let me know. But I mean, I think what makes Deadpool so great and why everybody loves it and is so excited for the second one, including myself, because it's just it's just a fun movie. Yes, it's crude. Yes, it's rude. And yes, it is vulgar at times for sure. But it's just one of those movies that's just like fun to watch. So yeah, it's like Family Guy. But on steroids, practically, because I feel like it's even worse than <laughs> Family Guy, but it's, like, very comparable to Family Guy in that it's very crude and just, like, vulgar. But, yeah. Um, but... Sidetracked. <laughs> uh, reverse it. <laughs> um, but Deadpool, for the longest time, like I said, I thought that the actress who played Owl, his roommate was Ahura, or Nishan Nichols. But up until about a month ago, I would say, or so, I thought that. And then my brother dropped a literal truth bomb on my head and told me that it was actually not Nichelle Nichols or Ahura from Star Trek who played the infamous owl from Deadpool. And my brain literally like, Poof! like, I was like, are you kidding? Like, what are you talking about? Like, I literally told him, like, over and over again, like, what are you talking about? Like, of course it's Nichelle Nichols. Like, I was, like, in, like, literal denial for, like, 15 minutes. I was, t I, was t I kept telling him, no, you're wrong. It's Nichelle. It's Ahura. Come the f, f fuck on. You know? Like, I was just like, it has to be her. Like, it has to be. And, of course, being my skeptical, critical person self that I am, because that's how I am. I don't believe things, like... Even, pe even from people that I know, like my dad and my brother, I'm a very skeptical person. So I looked it up and lo, uh, lo and behold to myself, he was right. Which I'm still kind of in denial about it because I still see it as a her because it just, it just looks so much like her. Like, come on. But yeah, I looked it up. She's actually not played by a her. But, and I, I, I even Googled this i even googled like deadpool ahura roommate owl because i wanted to see if there were any conspiracy theories about it but unfortunately i didn't find anything if you guys have seen any conspiracy theories or if you should or, or maybe i could create my own conspiracy theory video and this could be my conspiracy theory video because i think the conspiracy theory would be that that they made it purposefully look like, oh, they made her purposefully look like Ahura or like, or they picked an actress that looks like Ahura, Nichelle Nichols, on purpose. I'm not sure why, 
but it could be a subconscious thing like maybe they want us to like think of her and like star trek and like i don't know i don't really know or maybe i'm just crazy it's another possibility but but i mean i'm still like in denial partially because i just thought it was a hurrah and it's like come on but yeah um i just couldn't believe it like and even like, like even my dad thought it was a hurrah like it wasn't just me like you might be thinking sarah like of course it wasn't a hurrah like you're just crazy but no my dad thought it my brother actually did it. i think my brother thought it or maybe he didn't i don't remember if my brother i don't remember if my brother thought that about the character or not but either way i believed it my dad believed it and i just it's just for me it's hard to accept certain things like for example han solo in um star trek star trek uh star wars the force awakens spoiler alert he dies but for so long including the including present day i'm still in denial that he's dead because i just felt like his death was so like not complete or just it just wasn't satisfying to me but at the same time if i think back to like the original star trek series why do i keep saying star trek star wars because i was talking about star trek <laughs> but star wars if i think about if i go back to that series to the original star wars movies a lot of the main characters died in that sort of way so i guess i can't really like like i never really thought about that before but yeah it's just it's just uh, I'm just, I have a hard time believing things that I don't want to believe, I guess. Like, I mean, but I feel like that's kind of human nature to not 100% believe things that you're just, like, automatically told. I mean, maybe I'm crazy for thinking that or saying that or whatever, being like that. But I personally don't feel like, in general, we believe the th we believe things, like, right off the bat. Or maybe at least I don't. I mean, I know I don't, but, but I'm a very skeptical person, like probably one of the most skeptical people that you could ever meet probably well at least by top five top ten but yeah i just i just have a hard time believing it so yeah i have a hard time believing it and i have a hard time and even like with the new movie the jedi of uh, the last jedi i mean well i don't really have a hard time believing luke spoiler alert luke dies but yeah, I mean, I but his death felt a lot more resolved and it felt way better. It felt so much more satisfying than Han Solo's death. I just felt like Han Solo's just a big character and he just died so abruptly and just so... But I guess that's kind of how Star Wars is. I feel like a lot of the main characters have died in abrupt or semi-abrupt kind of ways. So, but that's... Not even what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Deadpool. <laughs> but, yeah. I just, I don't know. I love Deadpool. It's such a good movie. Like I said, if you guys want me to do a review, I can definitely do that because I love the movie and I've seen it many times. Because my brother, my dad, I swear to God, my dad watches it like every, every week or every other week or at least like three times a month or something. He watches it all the time. I bought him, I bought him a bunch of Deadpool stuff for Christmas because he's so obsessed. I bought him Deadpool shirts. He's just obsessed. Like, like Deadpool and Jennifer's Body are two of his favorite movies. And um, The Cooler with uh, Alec Baldwin. Like, oh my god. He loves those movies so much. He's obsessed. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I just... It, she, she, I mean, Al, it just... It, she just looks like Al. I don't, I don't have my phone with me or I would tell you more information about the actors who plays Al. Um... But if you guys want me to do another video talking about this, maybe talking more about the actress who plays that character and how I maybe like talk like a maybe like like that actress versus a Hura kind of like video, that could be kind of interesting to like talk about the differences between the actors and maybe just show that show either show either the similarities between the two actors and as to and that would equal as to why I was, you know, so in uh, so um caught up in thinking that it was a hurrah or it can show that i'm an idiot and i should have known that it wasn't a hurrah or whatever but yeah so that is my those are my thoughts if you also thought that owl 
Deadpool's roommate in Deadpool um, looked like Uhura and were as vehement, vehemently, I, I don't think I said that word right at all. Um, if you were as sure as me of that little tidbit, then let me know below if you were like as astonished or maybe you're astonished by this video, who knows? Just let me know what you guys think about this and if you guys want me to do more videos like this, kind of like just either debunking things or trying to understand things or just showing how confused I can be sometimes or stupid or whatever you want to call it. Let me know and let, like I said, my socials are down below. I'm definitely more on Twitter than anything else. I don't really go on Facebook that much. I used to go on Facebook a lot more than I used than I uh, used to. But yeah, and on Instagram, I go on, I, 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 I gram or I Insta or whatever people say. Um, occasionally, it depends on my mood and depends on if I think of it. But I'm definitely more on Twitter than anything else because I just I follow people and I tweet occasionally. So if you guys want me, if you guys want to talk to me. Those are down below. Sorry if I never really mentioned them in any of my videos. I've been meaning to do that in my videos lately and I finally got to it. So, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you love Deadpool, let me know. And I will see you in my next video. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't seen my face before, welcome to my channel. I'm Sarah and I hope you guys enjoy my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!